guys, um, so today I'm going to show you a makeup tutorial um, of Emma Watson's Elle Spain cover um, where she's wearing this kind of outfit, she's got the, great, the jumper on, she's got the earring in and she's just got this really gorgeous, smoky, sultry eye that's really kind of natural um, so yeah, keep watching, I hope you enjoy I'm just going to apologise straight off, the lighting goes a bit funny because the sun is setting and I'm trying to try and film this video as quick as I can so there's still good lighting in my room Okay, so starting off, I'm going to use MAC Strobe Cream mixed with NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. Um, I'm just going to put a pea-sized amount of Sheer Glow on the back of my hand along with a pea-sized amount of Strobe Cream. And then I'm just going to... Sorry, I've got swatches on my hand. I'm going to just mix those together with my finger and then plop it all over my face. I'm going to rub that in a bit. I've got a little bit of it in my hair. There you go, and now I'm going to use um, a Real Techniques blending brush just to blend that all in. Um, in the picture I'm using from her in Elle Spain, you can still see her freckles through um, her foundation, which just looks so pretty. So I'm mimicking that by making my foundation an even lighter coverage um, while still making the skin look lovely, healthy and glowy, which is what mixing the two together does. I'm just going to put some of that over my lips because my lips are still stained from the lipstick I was wearing earlier. And then I'm going to use a bit of the NARS Sheer Glow Creamy Radiant Concealer underneath my eyes. Um, and then I'm just going to dab that in with my ring finger. Yeah, so I'm just lightly spreading that out and now patting it in with my ring finger. It's Valentine's Day yesterday, so I had a nice day with my boyfriend, went to Wagamama's. It was incredible, as Wagamama's always is. He had katsu curry, because he's boring, and I had um, ramen. Although I normally go for teriyaki donburi, is that how you pronounce it? Um, kind of regret that I went for ramen because teriyaki donburi is so darn good. Okay, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit more just to make them look a bit thicker like Emma Watson's. Hers look really dark in this picture. Um, okay, I'm just going to do thin, quick, light strokes. I want to keep it kind of like an even heaviness like throughout. Like I don't want there to be more product in the back or in the front or anything. I just want it to be kind of all spread out nice and equally. God, I need to get my eyebrows done, don't I? <laughs> I grew them all out thinking that, oh god, it's a big difference, isn't it? I haven't blended it out yet, it'll look fine, it'll look better. Um, I grew my eyebrows out in the hopes that I go get them done professionally and then I could just pluck them, like, you know, just keep them into that shape, but... I quite like them growing out, I mean, it's a lot less effort, but I now no longer have to remember to pluck my eyebrows every day. So, who's the real winner? I think it's me. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend that out using my spoolie on the other end. Hmm, then brows. Right, I'm going to use Naked One palette here and I'm going to use the Naked shade all over the eyes, just like a kind of base. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush to apply that. This is just Beauty Bay one, it's only like a quid in the sale, I think. Just put that all over the lid. And now I'm just going to use a smudge brush, um, this is just the other half of Nico Tools blending brush, just to put a little bit of that under my lower lash line, just to drag the colour along so it looks more natural. And then I'm going to blend that out with the other side of this brush. And now I'm going to apply back in like the outer third of my eye, um, I'm going to use this Beauty Bay angled brush for that. And then through the crease I'm going to use this cool tan eyeshadow colour from the Kevin Laquan palette. Um, you can just use your contour shade here. I'm just going to put a very light dust in the back Ooh, through the crease just to give my eyes a little bit more definition. And then I'm just going to buff that out with, um, what is this? 
the Zoeva um, Luxe Soft Crease Brush. Just make sure none of that looks like I've just packed a load of eyeshadow on. I think generally the main rule for blending out your eyeshadow is that when you think you're done, just keep going. Just blend a little bit more. Just because then, you know, you're 110% sure it's all blended out and you won't be left with any of that slightly unblended edges or anything. I have very dark eyes now. <laughs> now this is the scary bit. I'm going to use this Smokestick by Topshop. Um, this is in the shade Dark Horse. Which I get a feeling is the name of the shade in here. Yeah! So it's got the same name as this Urban Decay Naked One palette shade. Uh, they're not really very similar. But... Oh well, I'm just going to apply this. It's sharpened quite well, it's quite pointy. I'm just going to apply this at the very edges of my lash line. I'm only going to put a little bit there and then I'm going to smudge it out with the pencil brush. See? It's just the tiniest bit. And I think for this bit you want to kind of, less is more in that you can always add more. But don't pack it all on at once. I'm just going to run that brush back and forth over the eyeliner just to smudge it out a bit. You know, open your eyes every now and then to make sure you've got it right. See, I just want like a really smoky edge to my eye. I'm going to bring it round a little bit and I'll kind of wing it out a tiny bit as well. So I'm just looking at the viewfinder to make sure I'm pointing at the right bit of my face. Um, so yeah, let's just keep blending that out. You can add a little bit more just to kind of Keep sure you make sure you've got the dark edge. Uh, I'm now just going to blend that again, but I'm going to use a much fluffier brush. I'm going to use the Zoeva crease brush again. I'm just going to make sure that's perfectly blended at the edges. Now, for the brush that you use to blend out your eyeshadow, I'm just going to run that slightly underneath my lash line. I'm not going to apply anymore, I'm just going to use what's on the brush put underneath my lashes to give a bit of definition there. I'm just going to put on a little bit more concealer just underneath my eyes, just because I have quite dark eyes anyway, and this is just to lighten them up a little bit more. I'm going to do a couple of light dots just to make sure that my dark circles, you know, aren't being exaggerated by all of this dark eye makeup on top of them. See now, I think the real question is, am I gonna film, <laughs> am I gonna finish filming this video before the sun sets? Fingers crossed, hang on, let me just check it. Oh, there's a hill over there, so the sun kind of sets slightly earlier here than it does anywhere else. Um, Cause obviously it has to go behind the hill. In fact, I'm surrounded by hills. Campus is kind of like in the middle of the load going around it. So my campus is so beautiful. It's basically a university in the middle of a load of like national trust parks and farmland. I mean, there's cows and sheep on campus. We've even got a load of like geese, some swans. We've got a beautiful lake we can walk around. It's just such a pretty campus. Um, I am going to set my eyes with a bit of the Stay Matte Rimmel London powder. Um, I'm just going to use the Dulux. What is this one? Dulux crease brush. And then I'm just going to dip that in. Just pop that underneath my eyes. I'm just going to go in with a really thin line of liquid eyeliner. You could use coal here actually. Um, I'm literally just going to line the lash line and bring it out to about here. You see, literally just, I don't know, half a centimetre over to the side. And this is just to add some definition to the lash line to make the bottom of the lashes look that much thicker. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. This is an Ico curler. I've had this for ages. Um, and then I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm going to apply it quite thickly because in the picture she does look like she has gorgeous thick lashes. Try not to wipe off your eye makeup when you do this or else it will have all been for waste. I do this a lot, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Tilt your head back so you prevent getting any of it on your um, all the eyeshadow you've just done. You want to um, pay a little bit more attention to the very corners of your eyes just to make sure the lashes look really thick there. I'm going to apply it all the way around my lower lashes. Tuck the head forward, lightly coat all the bottom lashes, all the way back. Okay, and now I'm just gonna run a little bit of cold liner um, in my tight line. 
just to make my eyelashes look a little bit thicker and you know to get rid of that little white space um i just lift up my eyelid like that so i'm not you know wincing like crazy and then i just line it lightly pushing this up into the lashes as i do it um i know a lot of you find this horrible to watch to be honest i don't mind it but i do think it looks hilarious and then you know makeup artists do it on their clients and then <laughs> the model's just there like Ugh. i mean i don't like it when other people do it to me either so but me trying to do this to my friends is so funny because they're just there like crying holding their eye open like don't blink but okay right eyes done now i'm going to study focus on the face i'm just going to use a really big fluffy brush like this i'm just going to run that rimmel stay matte powder through the center of my face just like this on the chin and now i'm going to do a contour For this obviously one and only i'm going to use my kevin aquan um, the sculpting powder in medium. I'm going to use the Real Techniques contour brush from their, I think it's their Essentials kit, the one that has all the orange brushes in it. I'm just going to suck my cheeks in a bit and apply it right, you can see the shadow here actually, just apply it right underneath my cheekbone, like that, and then I'm going to blend it out for ages. This takes a long time, but the effect's really worth it if you get it as natural looking as possible. Also, try not to talk when doing your contrast, it's just going to end up all over your face. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it looks absolutely terrible when you apply it, it really is just the blending out that does such a good job. Um, this is quite a precise blender, but if, you know, if you're quite new, um, I really do recommend the Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques. This is great because it really does just fit, but I do recommend being very light-handed with this because obviously it's a thick brush, it packs on a lot of powder, so just dab it in and then pat it on your cheek and then go mad with the circles you know give yourself a real massage you know really work it in um, and then I do recommend going over it with the brush that you used to do your foundation with if you feel like you've gone a bit too heavy and I'm just going to run a little bit of that just underneath my jawline as well like this blend in really well again so I'm going to use the candlelight cream from Kevin Aquan I'm just going to rub my middle finger in that pat it along tops of my cheekbones to highlight, middle of my nose, down centre, make sure that's all blended, just pat it on with my finger and then I kind of like, you know, like smudge it out and I use my little finger and I just run that on my brow bone. Right. And now in the black and white picture of her in this look, she looks like she has like a very muted lip on. In that case, I would use um, Max Honey Love and I'd apply that just onto my middle of my lip and then just smudge it out. Okay, so that's the finished look. I've even changed my outfit. I've got the same earrings in. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry that the lighting's quite dark now. Um, hopefully you can still see how the look goes out. Um, this is a really gorgeous look. I mean, you could wear this at night, you could wear this during the day. Um, it really does just look so pretty. Um, Emma Watson is a goddess. You've probably got that message by now. <laughs> I absolutely love Emma Watson. Um, but yes, I hope you recreate this video. If you do, um, please tweet me, that'd be amazing. Uh, my Twitter is Ophelia Loon, you know, my same as my YouTube username. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, um, leave a comment if you'd like as well, that'd be lovely. I like hearing from you. It's really nice to hear your opinions and feedback. And if you have any questions, that'd be great too. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>